Hi, I'm John Biggs and this is TechCrunch Makers. Since I started this show, I've always wanted to come to a special place here in Manhattan. This is Adafruit Industries. This is sort of a radio shack on steroids from plush resistors to real resistors. Let's go inside and take a look. So I'm here with Lamore Freed of Autofruit Industries. This is downtown Manhattan. This is your huge, huge headquarters. When I when I first met you guys, you guys basically had this thing in a in an apartment. Yeah, we had a live work loft in downtown the financial district. Mm -hmm. Now we have 12,000 square feet here in Soho. So we have a real factory in the oh. old print district. All right, so let's take a look. We like this call. This is the shrine to all things Lady Ada, is that's that right? That's right. I, I, sometimes I take on the Lady Ada avatar and uh, I act in her behalf. Uh -huh. It's also where we store our plushies. We have these little adorable As you would. capacitor plushies. Um, you know, we think that if kids are going to have like trains and sponges that can talk and have adventures, they should also have, have resistors capacitors and 555 five, five timers and, and resistors. resistors there we go. so you can kind of hang out with you. Little LEDs. This is Billy, the blue LED. She sings the blues. And this is blue. And the plan is that you guys are going to be animated soon. You yeah, guys are gonna we're going to have around. an animated or, or a puppeteered show. Um, and we have Adabot, which is the first puppet. So we had this made by a uh, <laughs> puppeteer at um, Sesame Street, Annie Fresh. Hi. I made a bot. The point is that you're gonna have a puppeteered show every every week or every month, or how's it gonna how's it gonna work? I think we're gonna do something every month. Okay. Uh, it depends on how Adabot's agent works out with us. We sure. have to negotiate his contract, um, but hopefully it'll be a, a 10 to 15 minute show on the web um, to start, and it'll be animated and puppeted, and I'll be there, and we'll talk about Circuit Playground, which is where stuff gets made. Mm -hmm. How so stuff's what's, made. What's Adafruit's mission? You're, you guys are selling all kinds of crazy stuff that you wouldn't normally see it. You can't even find this stuff at Radio Shack anymore. Why are you doing this? Um, well, one of the things that I really think about electronics is it's a modern art form. I think that just like you know, you probably took classes in painting and pottery, and you know, you like to build stuff when you were a kid. Basket weaving. Basket weaving, which is also really fun. Now mm -hmm. people can actually make art and use electronics as an art form to build stuff that they want to build. And that's where we're going, where kids these days are so comfortable with technology that it's become just something that they use as a technique, as a tool every day. And so we're trying to get engineering and electronics to all sorts of kids and older people too. Uh -huh. All right, so let's see how you make some of this stuff. Okay. <laughs> so what's going on over here? Um, so over here we have the pick in place, which is a special kind of robot. Uh, Adabot is a plushy robot. This is a, uh, it's a working this robot. This is still very huggable. Yeah, you can hug it. <laughs> He's very cute. This is sort of like the uh, apartment size pick and place. And this is what makes every electronic device you own. Everything you've ever owned has a circuit board with components placed on top of it. Mm -hmm. And this is the robot that does the job. We have a small version. Um, when you go to a big factory like Foxconn or, or Samsung, maybe four or five times as big and maybe 50 times as fast. Um, but this does do the job. It picks up one component at a time and it uses sensors and vision to place that part on the circuit board in the exact right location. Um, we're here with Bacon, who's in charge of running uh, the laser cutter. So this is a laser engraver cutter. It's made by Epilogue in Colorado. And it has a moving XY head with a high-powered laser in it. Mm -hmm. And it's safe because it's got this protective plastic over it. And it can cut through plastic, wood, leather. Okay. So a lot of times when we make a case or an enclosure, it works just like a printer. You send a file to it, it prints it out. So. If we decide to change something or a component is a different size or we want to substitute, we can just upload a new file and it just changes it. And you guys do QA right here as well? That's right. Uh, we're going to go check out the QA area right now. Perfect. We are now here at one of the QC stations. So this is where boards that have been pick in place to mm -hmm. come here. This is a uh, board that's going to have an LCD on it. Um, every phone these days has a really nice big color display. It's great that these phones have them, but what if you want to build your own project that mm -hmm. uses a display? Well, we can make a board that adapts those displays to something you can use in a breadboard with an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or an embed or, or any kind of microcontroller that you may have at home. Okay. So at this station, we attach the display. This is the touchscreen display. And we solder it on and we clean it off. And then finally, we take it to um, this test jig that we've made. 
So I'll press the display here and we'll go through a test. Um, this test, make sure that the touch screen works. I can make sure all the different colors show up properly. All right, let's walk through the warehouse. Sure. This is like a magical wonderland of electronic <laughs> delights. Yeah, we've got all sorts of stuff here. This is where we store all of the things while they're being weighted to, uh, before they're shipped. And what are these little guys over here? Oh, so this is uh, really fun. These are all of our badges. So we thought, you know, when you join like the Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts, you get like a, you know, a patch that says you know how to make a fire uh -huh. or um, shoot a bow and arrow. We thought it would be really cool if you had a badge that said, you can program in Python. <laughs> or, um, you know, you can set up a Linux computer. Okay. Or uh, you can use an oscilloscope. Now this, the home brewing badge is probably not for the kids unless it's like root beer. Root beer, you can do right. root beer. Um, there's also, you know, biohacking. So a lot of people like to do cool stuff with, you know. Sure, I eat a lot of nuts, so that's, that's entirely. And then we have like HTML5. <laughs> And uh, this one's one of my favorites, the Tesla coil badge. Okay. Not a lot of people earn this badge, but I really like it because it's got the, the copper coil down here. What are some of the, I guess, the methods for getting people interested in this socially, I suppose? Um, well, we have a really big uh, social network for print. We have over a million people on Google+, and we share projects from the community. We have a forum. We have a blog. We post like 20 times a day. We're on Twitter. We're just getting people from all over the place, and they're sharing their projects. On Google Plus, we have a communities page for makers, hackers, artists. And what's really cool is that not only do we have people who are doing electronics hacking and programming, but also people who paint. And they're all posting up their projects and sharing what they do together. And it's not like, oh, that's not geeky enough or that's too geeky. Everybody's welcome. This is stuff that used to be at Radio Shack that you can't get anymore. Yes, these are all sorts of cool parts, like, you know, seven segment displays. <laughs> and um, you know, LEDs, really Tiny bright LEDs. Buttons. buttons. People can have all sorts of inputs for their projects. They can customize it the way they want. Okay. And you guys mentioned you were shipping nerds, and I know that our audience is probably interested on how to ship their stuff out finally. Yeah. So this is all homebrew equipment over here? Yeah, so one of the things that we did when we first started, as I was doing all the shipping, and so I wanted to make sure that the shipping was as fast and as efficient as possible. <laughs> we have an all in house design shipping system. We ship UPS, which is you know domestic and international, as well as a postal service, which is a little bit less expensive, uh, isn't as easily tracked. Um, and every station we have, we have seven shipping stations. Um, it has a label printer, and these are off-the-shelf label printers. Uh, we have a basic computer with a lot of USB ports, because we've got all sorts of stuff plugged in, and um, a monitor with our software on it. We have a barcode scanner, which is really handy. We have uh, almost every item in the store is barcoded, so this really helps with inventory control, make sure we're shipping out the right item, because they all look very similar mm -hmm. when you get really small. <laughs> Um, we have a shipping scale, which makes sure that whatever we ship is uh, the right weight. And, and that's all connected to the, to the shipping system. Yeah, and it's all integrated. We use APIs from the Postal Service and Indicia uh, and from USPS to make sure that we have the right quotes. We offer people exactly the right price so that you know, they're not paying for shipping that they're not going to get. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we can ship very fast. We can ship hundreds of orders out of here every day. So now we've reached the end of our tour, I suppose. This is the shipping area where this you guys are sending outgoing. stuff out? This is the outgoing. So this is where everything leaves. And so all of the wonderful kits are going to children around the world. So yeah, during the tour, I was, uh, I was attacked slowly I but know. surely by these guys. <laughs> What's next for you guys? What's next for uh, Auto Food Industries? Well, we've got all sorts of stuff planned. Um, we're working on this show. We've got this great iPhone, iPad app that we're working on might be a game or something in the future that integrates all of these great characters. Okay. Um, we're putting up tutorials every single week on the Learn system. Um, we're just doing everything we can to get tutorials, build curriculum, get everybody out there making as much as possible. So hopefully we'll see some So is this, an, is this an educational business or is this like a, is this a resistor business? I kind of think resistor of this business. as a, we're a tutorial company with a gift shop at the end. <laughs> all right, perfect. And thank you very much, Lamar, for showing us around. It, it's, been a, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you for being a human breadboard. I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel energized by all these, uh, all these, you so rarely get to be covered in small plush uh, resistors these days. So it's, it's really a treat. So. John Biggs of Tech Rich Makers, thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Adabot. Bye, Adabot. <laughs>